the new earth, baby. I got poop. I got poop. I got poop. Yeah. I got poop. What up, Catalyst? What up, Grace? Hey, look, you know people ask us all the time how we, how we know what we believe. You know what I'm saying? How we know the truth. man. We got proof about the truth of Jesus, man. That's what I'm trying to tell them. That's exactly what I'm saying. Nobody want to contest Paul's letters? Nah, never hurt. Even when he was alive? Especially not when he was alive. He's going to rip his bread. Hey, hey, look, before you get it, man, let me jump in on him, all right? All right, look. Uh, what about Easter? Easter? Easter is it can be selected for the same way, you know, Christianity. Uh, I'm sure in those beliefs. Okay. Yeah, I, I really enjoy them. Okay. Uh, talking about Easter, like, you know, this is another holiday that, you know, has been created. And um, this is, you know, Easter is all about, you know, how, how Christ sacrificed himself for us. And uh, how he put his life on the cross uh, to forgive our sins and for this world to be cleansed of sins so that we could all have the chance uh, to be able to be saved and go to heaven. All right, well, what Easter means to me is definitely not about Easter bunnies because we all know rabbits can't lay eggs anyway and stuff like that. But what Easter pretty much means to me is this is, of course, the celebration or the resurrection of Jesus Christ. You know, he died, he came to save the world, not to condemn the world. and. He died and rose on the third day to save us from our sins. He took paid the penalty for sins that we can't pay for. Easter, pretty much the same thing. It doesn't really have much meaning to me. Well, I mean, Easter from a religious standpoint, of course, about Christ. In my life now, my kids are older and stuff like that. And it's more of just spending time with family and the grandchildren and stuff like that. Okay. I, I hate to say it, but I tend not to get really on the religious side of Easter too much. Okay. Other than, you know, the Easter celebrations, you know, on Easter Sunday. Uh -huh. yeah, Easter money, Easter egg, Easter baskets. The world sees the significance of Easter as the Easter Bunny. And that's, you know, that's really what the world sees. And uh, it's just all about, you know, receiving candy. Uh, but the significance of Easter is so much more than that. Um, and it's just, it's really cool to believe that, like, we have the choice and we have the opportunity to be able to believe in a God uh, that has given us something so much more than, like, what a simple Easter bunny could or, you know, what a store could in candy. Jesus Christ defied all odds. He's the only one that rose from the dead after three days being buried actually rose up with his own power and nobody else has done that and we uh, cease to uh, see the effects still to this day of how his word stays true and his word is everlasting and Jesus was the word in the flesh. And it's important to me because without that, that's the core belief of our faith. If he didn't rise, if he didn't defeat death, then it lets us know that once we die there really is no hope. You would have to try to believe in all these other things like scales or hope you come back a second time and try again even though I always ask the question if you keep coming back but you don't remember what you did in the past what's the point of going over and over and over but you know it's definitely important because you see how you know how much of an impact that he made you know 2,000 years ago and still to this day it still carries more weight than most people you've heard of but they probably don't even speak about anymore the day that Christ rose from the dead, um, which essentially is what Easter means, you know, Easter Sunday, you know, Jesus prophesied, he told um, his disciples and, and, you know, people who was close to him that he's going to rise from the dead on the third day. And that's what he did, you know, that's what he did. And, um, you know, that we really got to understand that if this event really did happen, then the, everything, you know, everything has changed because Christ is who he says he is. And he did rise from the dead. He is the Son of God, you know, and that we do have forgiveness of sins. Um, I know, you know, Easter is just like Christmas and it's like a lot of other holidays. It's also a time, too, that people use uh, to be able to give things to each other, uh, like candy and like, you know, some small gifts. And, uh, you know, I'm totally fine with that as well. And I, I think, though, that like Easter, like the significance that uh, we've put it at of where, you know, this is where Christ went on the cross and he and he he died and he rose again in three days okay and what, so what the bible says that jesus resurrected from the grave like what do you what are your feelings towards the resurrection like do you believe he um, really 
did or what was the fitness for Oh yeah, I play everything I'm saying. What he did was very helpful. I'm saying by him being I'm saying by him it's just I'm saying being good, being bad, all the disrespectful and Jesus helped a lot. So what are your feelings about the resurrection, the fact that the Bible says that Jesus Christ from the grave? Like what are your personal feelings towards that? Like do you think I guess there was an actual resurrection or um uh, event or whatever? Partial about it, you know. Like you, you, you go to church and stuff, and you learn to eat that type of stuff, and then you go to school and you kind of feed all that thought. There's historical records that say that that's true. So until there's more details out there, yes. Okay. And so, how do you feel about the resurrection? The Bible says that Jesus resurrected from the grave. Like, what's your feelings about that? Like, how do you feel about the resurrection? That Jesus resurrected. Wow. I, 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 I I'll say it again. I'm Catholic. Mm -hmm. um, I don't really practice my Catholicism because I was born in the Catholic, Catholic, Catholic family. Uh -huh. But I don't go to church. I just got my own belief for myself. If you ask me for dates or facts, yeah, yeah. I already know how to ask for Okay. Um, how do I know Christ raised from the dead? Uh, I mean, first, I believe the Bible is, is the Word of God, um, and it said He did. But also, um, if He didn't, then then some people are going to have to explain to me some things. Like, one, how the Church of, of Jesus even got started. Um, I know that, like, even historically, uh, most of the early disciples um, that claimed Jesus' resurrection were horrifically killed and martyred because of it. Um, and so if that was a hoax, if that was a legend, uh, they could have easily... Uh, save their lives by by claiming that and not um, standing on on the truth that Jesus raised from the dead and so that uh, that to me tells uh, tells me that, that Christ really did raise from the dead that people were willing to die for that truth essentially all the Romans or the Jews really had to do um, to you know rid this whole Christianity and you know to stop the disciples from saying that Christ rose from the dead is just to present the body of Jesus Christ and all they had to do is just bring it out you know and say oh here's the body you know here's your Jesus like he's still dead but they couldn't do it because they couldn't find the body you know there was, there was nowhere to be found if Christ didn't rise up then there'll be no point of us being here and no point of us living this life there'll be no consequences too much to what we're going to do. I mean, everybody we're going to hell, so there's really nothing to gain if we didn't get a second chance. Um, and not only that, um, but seeing the way that that his uh, his work on the cross transforms lives, um, including my own. And so, uh, so Jesus is definitely alive. And Easter um, is not only the time of remembering that, um, but a time of proclaiming that, and that uh, that is not like our own doing. Um, but rather like we cling to the grace um, and the victory that, that Christ has done um, because he, he loves his church. And, uh, and so I think Easter is, is that for me. Um, I think that, it, that it's hard to argue um, that Christ did not raise from the dead, um, but, uh, but I believe that he is active and alive and living today, um, and he's going to return and take his church. Savior, keep your move on my mountain, my God.